Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the Game Mechanic and today we have for you Hammurabi, the brand new Civ leader. Uh, a very unique play style. Uh, reminds me a lot of the Rise and Fall leaders in that I think it's going to take a few times to get used to it. Uh, we're going to play this first one and post it over on the YouTubes for you. Uh, I usually don't do that. I usually take a crack at a sieve or two uh, and try to learn a little bit about them. But we have a very lofty goal for this particular sieve. Um, suffice it to say, we have an early unique unit uh, that kind of does a good scout impression. Uh, and we have a unique uh, uh, water mill here that is pretty darn cool. But mostly we're playing this for Eureka's giving us all of the science of a tech and minus 50% science per turn. Obviously, the minus 50% science per turn is going to hurt us. It's going to hurt our ability to get to early things like pottery, animal husbandry, and minoring. But we will instantly have things like writing, astrology, etc. So because of this, we are going to go ahead and invent this brand new meta. This civ, this civ leader just dropped about an hour and 15 minutes ago. And my plan uh, for this is to basically get to buy planes in five steps. Um, three cities, possibly with Temple of Artemis, although we don't have a spot in our cap for it. Excuse me. Um, we're going to want three cities, three mines. Once we're at three mines, we'll be at apprenticeship, improving our mines and unlocking industrial zones. We'll have each of our three cities get an industrial zone. Uh, the first workshop will be free because of our ability, and then we'll build two more. Once we're at three workshops... We'll be at industrialization. We'll have our best city start Rur Valley. The other two get working on coal power plants. Once we're done with the wonder and have two power plants, we'll have refining and flight, thus inventing the biplane meta. And this is basically the long and short of what we're trying to do today. Uh, so we're going to do our best to get there. Um, I would say that Hammurabi in general likes early resources. Uh, things like a farm will instantly get you irrigation. Things like a pasture will inst instantly get you to the classic era and unlock horses. Sending out that first trader instantly gets you to currency. There's all kinds of cool stuff for us to be able to strategize around. So... I like this start. Uh, this is our second roll. Our first one was was a, a rare, like the de the deity AI just rolled over us. Uh, and that hasn't happened in, in some time. But uh, full disclosure, this is our second roll here. But it's a pretty darn good one. I like having Silk nearby. Uh, we've got the uh, Eureka here for it so we can unlock it fairly early on. Uh, I like the 2-2 two -two settle in place, working a 2-2 two -two tile, and then hopefully expanding to the culture tile for some early goodness in that tree. We also have tea here, so perhaps culture from uh, plantations could be a pantheon choice for us. My my ultimate choice, my ultimate, uh, if I got to pick, would be we would start with um, we would start with the free settler. But we shall see, we shall see. Um, because I don't have a spot for Temple of Artemis, I don't know that I want to go to animal husbandry first. Maybe we'll go to mining first. I could also even justify going to irrigation first, right? Just go grab pottery, get this farm, get our plantations online, and that could that could again justify the uh, plantation pantheon. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I, I still want one scout. We have a unique and discounted warrior. Uh, 17 strength instead of the typical 20, uh, but is only 35 production instead of 40. Also has three movement and extra combat strength versus heavy and light cavalry. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly get a couple of these, but I want one, at least one scout class unit for the ability to get the alpine promotion. We've got a volcano over here. Animal husbandry has nothing to do with TOA. Just need the Eureka. That's a good point. Um, that's a good point. We don't even really have to go to animal husbandry, although it'll allow you to see uh, kind of more strategically where you should place it. But yeah, that, that's a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, let's start with mining. Uh, the quarry is going to get us walls. There's all kinds of fun stuff that we're going to do. Desert over here. Yeah, we don't have a camp yet. And, and, and if we don't get TOA, it's okay. More culture from the amber. Nope, I don't want to skip the scout. I think the scout is still pretty key. Yeah, they have a very slow start because of our halved science per turn. Interesting area. Dave, thank you for the brand new Prime sub. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. My man. 
So where to with the scout? I think here is okay. And we'll go up and over. Hogue with the tier two as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 22 months. That is an incredible amount of time. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And Mobius Fighter, Almost welcome two in. two years, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a crazy amount of time. It, it, time flies, huh? Time really flies. Thank you, Hug. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. I hope we expand to this uh, tile. We've got more free culture in the amber over here. That is interesting. And even more plantation. So we are in a continent split. You can usually tell that by the uh, geothermal here. We don't really have plans for really good campuses, although that this would be a plus four. Um, you see a lot of people saying they have a slow start, but usually they have medieval attacks by the end of the first era. Yeah, it's it, I, I you know what that's a, that's a very important distinction. Getting to their first tech feels slow, but the rest of it progresses actually very very quickly. So I don't know if it's actually slow or not. We have two two cities to meet over here, um, and this is why you use your scout uh, or your settler lens while scouting. We can see one here and one here. They are not the same, so we have a lot to do here. Uh, Red Rivet, thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Religious City State. Uh, another City State, and I, I took a poor path with this scout, sadly. Yeah, the plus four campuses are only plus two campuses for us. So not all that exciting, to be perfectly honest. And we meet Candy. And then we meet Laventa. Now, only one of them was a first meet. Laventa was not. So they have a new friend over there. Trigger the Eureka for archery. That's something we're fairly interested in doing. Um, and if I could soothe them. Do we want to soothe them and try to get a relic? Like, it's so early on. What tells you that the city-states are there? The color borders. The dashed colored border here tells me that they're a religious city-state. And that's Persia up there, I think. If the campus is only plus two, does it stop you from getting the historic bonus? That is a great question. And the answer is no. Uh, your, your science per city, per turn, is reduced by half. But the campus you build will still be a plus four. Good question. Yeah, I'm thinking about grabbing Amani here and seeing if I can get a relic out of it. Because I think I'm looking to be vampires for our strats. We're going to need food and production. And those vampire castles are going to come in clutch. We can also look at getting something in our capital right, right now. You'll still get the rationalism bonus. Yeah, if you wanted to run those cards for sure. Now, I think I like the vision we're going to get from Amani here too. Um, doing doing a world tour with Amani can give you a lot of good era score. Uh, and I think we're early enough that hopefully we don't find a wonder. Like, And that's just going to give us tons of vision. All right. We expanded to the silk. I like that a lot. That's going to help our culture a bit. Um, and then also progress our border expansion faster, which is good because we're going to need some of these hills for our um, apprenticeship, Eureka. Yep, sorry. Yep, yeah. Pingala, every, every science, you, your science per turn is reduced by 50%. You can still pillage for full yields. You can use like Darwin for full yields, things like that. But it is your per turn per city science that is reduced by half. Shouldn't I prioritize the Slinger? Not until we have a spot for Temple of Artemis and we just don't see it. Nice. Zanzibar is a first meet. That's pretty exciting. Um, we have our political philosophy boost. This is not free. It is just stuff in our science uh, tree here that is free. There's another. A military one, too. We've spawned smack dab in the center of all of the city-states. I think making uh, 
Amani, a pretty decent choice. There is Persia, as expected. Uh, he could certainly come and kill us, too. And that is his cap. If he doesn't kill us, he will uh, he will face our our our, uh, <laughs> our biplane meta. <laughs> uh, Siv Simmer, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I'm I, I I'm gonna try the delegation. I don't think it'll make a dis a difference, but I don't want to die. And that gave us writing for free. We've got another city state down here. Uh, oh, yeah, there's another city-state up here as well. <laughs> Jeez. So many city-states. Kind of crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. As soon as we're done with this guy, we'll get started on one of those uh, settlers. One of them fancy settlers. Where are you going with that? Probably towards me. Oh, no. That's much. So there's our unique unit. Um, decent for, for scouting for barbarians and things like that. I think I'm going to try to go down here a little bit and see what's what. Let's go ahead and get our settler going. So again, plus four campus. So you still get the Eureka and all of that type of stuff. How's broccolini different from regular bro broccoli? One has a leany at the end. An eeny. It has an Eni and not an Audi. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I take it back. So we could settle south. There's our um there's our camp. Not in our cap here, but potentially we can try to do this. Hero discovered Anansi. So this is, this gets rid of bonus and luxury resources. Not really something I want to do, although uh, I think we would get full 60 science. And then the full 50 culture as well. Hey, did you guys know you could do this? As For as long as I've ever seen this uh, question, again, things that I'm learning about Civ today. I didn't know you could just click that and get an amazing biography of Hypatia here. Like, that is such fun. I've literally never clicked that button before today. I didn't know you could do that. Um, this pulls us in here. <laughs> I mean, I know that all of that stuff is in the, is in the Civilopedia. But I just didn't know that they had it so conveniently laid out, like, right there for us. So there's a barb camp. We definitely need to clear that. Look at all of the vision that Candy gave us. They, they showed us that there's another city-state over here. It's an industrial one. Uh, it, they sh they're showing us a camp. And hopefully we can find a natural wonder and benefit from a relic. Uh, although I'm on faith per turn, I'm going to go ahead and run God King here. Um, I, if there's a small chance that the settler is available, that's probably what I want. And if not, it's going to be a bit of a waste because generally speaking, the, the plantation one is there. Um, but that's okay. Huge army. Yeah. It's a pretty big army up there. There's musket five envoys there already. See if I can get down here and clear this before they do. Let's go after foreign trade. Getting a trader will unlock commercial hubs for us. Does the unit replace the slinger? No, it is a melee unit. The extra movement here is going to be very, very helpful, though, in just getting to this in time. Hey, hey, hey. That looks like a relic, doesn't it? 
I mean, I know it says gold and culture, but to me, it looks like a relic. Southside Spur, thank you for the 37 months. Hidden in the glorious uh, Does it annoy anyone else that the leader portraits don't all face the same way? <laughs> or is it just me? Again, apparently I'm learning that I'm not as observant as I credit myself for, Southside. Thank you very much for the 37 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That gives us astrology. That gives us a relic. That does not... Oh, we're not at a vampire invite yet. Oh no, I don't have enough strength. Nor do I have enough gold. Yeah, it does a scout impression. Uh, this is an exciting city though. Obviously we'll uh, do that. This is a huge, huge bummer that I can't clear this, but I, I, I simply cannot. If only we had 20 combat strength, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go here and then through. So that gives us our faith per turn. We certainly didn't need to put in the uh, the God King. You didn't swing? Well, I don't want to swing now either. I'll grab this afterwards. I don't know. Weird. Couple couple goodie huts down here. I don't have enough money to uh, levy their their units here. I assume they clear it now, but whatever. I'm going to bring this warrior back. Hey, that's what we like to see. So this is another reason to get a scout. Um, scout snowballing into more scouts. This one already has Alpine and can now go off in their own direction. We've discovered two goody huts that don't seem to be going claimed anytime soon, right? So this can just come down and uh, and not scout, but uh, but level up, which will be good. Znick, thank you so much for the 13 months. Welcome on back. Good to have you here. Thank you very much for the year plus support. 13 months of good content and a great community. Aww. Let's keep it going, everyone. I love it. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate the value for value. Thank you for the kind words as well. Please don't clear it. Haha, -ha, you didn't. Haha, -ha, it's mine. Haha. -ha. All right. Pantheon. Hey, there is a settler. We could grab our free settler. Again, our strategy here builds around three cities. We've got one of our settlers done in three turns. Uh, and so this kind of gives us the boost we want. Uh, I, I do think there's something to be said about festivals here. Uh, several plantations already. And frankly, more to settle. Yeah, no vamps is a, is a bummer. Um, so where are these cities going to go? Really, like, I would like to settle this continent. But I don't know that I can do so up here. Could we settle this? It's a bit unreasonable with Persia right here. And underneath the volcano. Settle Pai Titi and you don't need the culture from Pantheon. That's a decent point. Because we could settle the T and then settle like over here and maybe get a a a, a pet a petri a pet petra titi. I liked Petra Titi. Uh yeah, I think I want the settler. It's close. Uh, 
this is border border expansion with this. Yeah, I think I want the free settler here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I. I, I could certainly. I could certainly see this being the better long term choice. Uh, but give me that settler so that we can get doing all of the things. Yes, so maybe this and this. My mic is out. Are you sure? I think we okay. Yeah, I don't know that I want to forward settle. I could sneak in this city. It is on a new continent, but look at the amount of dead tiles it has, right? The, the reason this is a bad settle our opening has one, two, three dead tiles, meaning, yeah, this does something, and I, I can technically worth it, work it, but, like, I, I can't, like, chop it. I can't put districts here. And then just so many more dead tiles. I like that there's a good district, whatever. Um, and certainly, like, maybe, maybe we could sneak that in. But I think we just come down here and try to settle this uh, Petrititi. Six more era score. We'll get era score for settling this. We also have multiple goody huts to grab here and plenty of barbs running around. Who deserves more credit? Another goody hut. So the reason I like both of these um, is that we'll pick up all of the of the tiles, right? Because this city will get this one and then all the rest. This city can get this one and then all the rest. And I think that'll be reasonable. We'll look at our cities in a little more detail here soon. Uh, we want to we want to for we have to hard tech all of these, and so there's no point in putting science anywhere else other than here for right now. Yeah, the vamp castles. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, man, that's going to be great. Assuming we can, you know, get vamps. The scout just beat up our uh, unique unit. Like, pretty hard. This is not a worthy city. Our cap is somewhat worthy. Yeah, vamp castles on Vi Paititi could certainly be a thing. Yeah, I don't think the unique unit is great. This could be uh interesting. Still. My man. Uh Servi, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I got a fridge. <laughs> okay. is the mirror of the form wine of the mind so the eurekas although we would get that eventually already the eurekas uh are really good to find in in goody huts right because that's just free bronze working we can see if we have iron we actually do we have a fair bit of it does he is the question and i guess it doesn't matter Do I just have the... Yeah, I think... I think this scout will level off of this one, so I think I can just grab this on our way. And then also meet up here so I don't get stolen. 
Yeah, that's true. I don't have anything else for Amani to do, really. Uh, she can't get us more relics because I don't have any spots for him. So if we were to move Amani, maybe here. Again, just grabbing vision, although we might give up some tiles to do so. I also may not need the era score, so we could we could just wait on that. Because we only need five more era score for a golden. We are invited to void, and owl's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. We do have a title. We could bring in like a Pingala. For the culture. Certainly going to want Magnus for chops. Certainly going to want this engineer. Maybe even um, Liang right now. Like, we're going to need some builder charges. Pingala worse because they have science. Yeah, but you still have the culture side of it, right? Uh, We could move to Zanzibar. Yeah, Zanzibar's open. Yeah, okay. To Zanzibar. So we lose our candy. Suze, that's okay. I know we're always going to want a Pingala. Yeah, I think we always want a Pingala. It's a little boring. If we settle the stone, we get the best possible Petra. Or even here. But then we're missing out on some of these tiles. And we find Beowulf. Uh, do, 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 do. So you can see lifespan, movement, strength charges and he just immediately kills stuff interesting I still think I'm on the Hercules train My man. go up there maybe Minus twenty percent production for your industrial district sounds nice. It's actually not as impactful as you think. Your first districts are fairly cheap, and so that extra uh, production is kind of whatever. Eco, thank you for the follow. I think I think overall the culture is better. How you doing, Nine of Spades? Mulan, finding all the heroes this time around. So 35 movement, range strength, attack range, and then extra strength per turn. Oh, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. Uh, and we did indeed get our level here. Uh, I mentioned my scouts wanting Alpine here. We can, no we we can now uh, get out of survey and certainly get out of God King. More goody huts. I still think I'm into that city. It's like a weird amount of flatland here. I like settling the desert too. There's a decent chance that we'll have oil. 
Do I want to make a greedy Paititi settle and then make a Petra City over here? How good is this Petra City if we, like, maximize it? So two, and then these, that makes four. This is six, seven, eight. Uh, the new hero mode, these are like temporary, so you, you can you can recruit these. Um, they, they largely help you with combat and things like that. Um, they all have kind of a limited lifespan. That's this 30. That's for 30 turns. You can re revive them like once per arrow with faith, um, and they all kind of do different things. You have to build a monument in order to recruit them once you find them. And once, once, like, let's say we build a monument here and grab Beowulf. This is Beowulf. This is where Beowulf lives now. Good morning, Arrow. TGM. Hope things are going better. Hey, thank you very much, Arrow. Welcome back for seven months. Good to have you here. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I agree. It's. I think it's. A, I think this is another mode that I'm gonna want enabled fairly often, like secret societies. This. Uh, this also has implications for your heroes. Does it say so? Six. Uh, this. This allows you to recruit them, re-recruit them cheaper. And then your uh, Hanging Gardens add 10% lifespan to your hero as well. So those two early wonders have more implications like that as well. Note that the monument isn't an actual building, it's the project. Yeah, that's a good point too. I would assume their lifespans change on different game speeds, but I'm not, I'm not 100%. So do I want to buy a trader and get us to currency right away? Or do I need to buy this, this um, builder? What am I building after the settler? I could buy the builder and start up start on our mines. Turn 131 feels good. Nice Atlas. Yeah, the builder gets the Eureka's going for sure. Including allowing us to get our um, plantations online, which will make our gold better. I think I want the builder. I realize that the uh, trader also makes our gold better, but it's a little risky sending them out this early with uh, barbs being what they are. More bullies. So many bully in game. Two of my favorite heroes. Though. I love Persia and I love Cleopatra. I could technically eventually settle... Like a coastal city to pick up the rest of this. You could also settle right here and still get an aqueduct. Maybe I just want to come all the way over here and let this one come here. Although there's something to be said for just getting these yields on a little bit faster. If I settle here, I don't get error score for settling close to Paititi. We're three tiles away. We're going to want an aqueduct anyways. So I think it's okay to grab that. Could build the trader. I think we just build the monument and let our builder do the do its thing. I 
Hey, senor, how you doing? So now we're over on Era Score, meaning that the uh, Amani World Tour doesn't need to happen. Notably, we're, we're probably going to lose our ability to do that um, because there are so many other people here. You can see Amani already establishing up there, um, but it's fine. Should be fine. Why settle the river? You lose your building. Yeah, we certainly lose our building here, uh, but we grab all the Paititi tiles. Well, we actually lose that one still, huh? Eh, it's fine. It's fine. So let's do this. We get another whole tech. That brings us into this era. So much era score already. And we're going to need to be careful. Because we're already in ironworking. And I don't need the era score for apprenticeship quite yet. Quite yet, right? Uh, so I want to probably delay that a bit. And I might get one more city. I think having a fourth city certainly won't hurt anything. And it'll fit in there pretty well. Any reason for settling off the river? We got the era score, and I, I, I thought I was picking up all the tiles. We actually wound up giving up this one, but we picked up most of the tiles. Since we moved this city, we were going to have an issue where we didn't actually grab all the tiles. And so that's why we settle here. I don't mind building the aqueduct uh, as it is a eureka and something that we're going to want to do anyways. And so this forces me to do it. If I don't force myself into a situation where I need an aqueduct, I'll never get around to it. Time for a plus four holy site. Red Santa Claus, thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub. Welcome on in. It's good to have you here. I appreciate it a lot. Auckland. Another first Suze in the world, uh, and we get uh, Hippolyta. All of the heroes. I still think I'm looking for a... Uh, really would like Hercules, ideally. <laughs> My hubby just brought me this game. Please teach me how to take over the world. You're in the right place. We are certainly happy to help you, to help you do that. I have a YouTube that has so many Let's Plays on it. Uh, and you can, I love to teach the game. So if you have questions, you are in the right place to learn this. Uh, and I hope you enjoy your experience with it. It's a, it's a very, very fun game. I want to scout this city just a little bit more. Hippolita? Hippolita. Thank you. Yep, yep. yep. Go ahead and kill that. <laughs> the one the one I'm trying to get to is this one. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it, though. Yeah, the heroes are temporary. They're almost like temporary generals or units that can do uh, very, very powerful things. Some of them have econ abilities. There are There's like a naval one. There's all sorts of stuff, Sacrador. Um, they have limited lifespans, but are very, very powerful. You recruit them by running a project. Uh, you can re-recruit them with faith as the game goes on. So your advice on multiplayer modes, you want to beat your friends? Um, Out-tech them and then kill them with, with, with planes. That's sort of our plan for this game, too. Third continent. We've got all three continents here. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't bully the city states. People people generally don't like that. Yeah, I don't I I'm curious to see what the AI does with the heroes too. Um let's go ahead and take our extra culture on Pingala here. Again, the science is kind of for nothing. 
Um, although at some point we'll probably still grab it. Like, I just want this culture for now. Probably get grants eventually too. Um, nobody working on great people at the moment. Yeah, Mr. Mantra, it's all it's all the uh, yeah, it's all the uh, the river tiles or tiles next to lakes. Found another wonder as well. Oh, we sure did. Yeah, we found Fountain of Youth there. No, no slot for a second relic, so we're just still rocking our first one. I do want to get these uh the mines going though, because I want to get our um industrial zones going as soon as possible. You are all lame. I want to be a vampire. I want to be a vampire and drive a biplane. How am I supposed to do that if I can't clear some camps? She's vampires. Why you no share? But mom, all the cool kids are vampires. So true, Vlad. Thank you. Thank you for understanding me. <laughs> How you doing, Hoag? All right, and tech, and just grabbing this instantly gets us the irrigation. So now we can go get that online. This is another one. We're going to need more builders here soon. And we will get them. I'll take the three-turn growth. Uh, although I want one more settler. So maybe this is fine for the time being. She grabbed Zanzibar. That's fine. Culture's looking decent. Well, your science per turn is always going to be bad as this leader because of minus 50% science per turn. Just heal up. Do I sneak this in? I don't want it this era. So I think the answer is no. Let's go ahead and grab a builder and then maybe a trader too. Oh, okay. Um, even when they're not, the barbs are still mean. That's so true. Why won't they ever cooperate? You know, they're just they're just uncooperative. Now I think the builder is still more valuable here. Remember that we still need our three mines. We have one already, um, but here I can I could get one uh, or two of these. Um, I may need to get a uh, builder down here too eventually as well. I don't want to get distracted by like Great Bath and other things like that. Here's our vampire invite. Hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Boop. Oh, rip our campus. Rental tab, thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome on back. Thank you so much for the prime. The ongoing prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got it soon. If you need help, let us know. Hard, probably hard tech state workforce let early empire happen on its own. We're about to settle a city. Uh, 
There's a new sieve here. We don't need to meet them yet. They're meeting them as era score, and we just we're like already uh, five over here. So there's no point in in continuing to do that. Death Legend, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, and yes, indeed, we do need to put a cut in the video here. So we got the first 31 turns of the game. Nothing crazy has happened quite yet. Uh, but but fairly soon, we're going to grab Apprenticeship and try to pull off our ridiculous plan for the biplane meta. I will say biplane to you, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.